Alright, so here we are back at the Gateway Pundit. Two suspects arrested over Georgia gas station shooting that injured nine children. One of the suspects arrested for the shooting in Columbus was a 15-year-old boy who police say is a validated gang member. Oh, how lovely. His name has not been released publicly due to his age. Okay. The other suspect, D'Angelo Robinson Sr. So wait, if he's senior, then that must mean there's a junior. Dollars to donuts, it's that 15-year-old. I'll wager a guess. So he's 35. Has been booked into the Muskogon, Muskegee County Jail for eight counts of aggravated assault. The Associated Press reports. There's a video of the press briefing, so I'm going to pop that in, and then I'll continue from there. We begin with breaking news. A shooting outside a gas station in Columbus, Georgia, injured nine people, including a five-year-old. WGN's Jewel Hillary is in the newsroom with the latest on the investigation. Jewel, good evening. Hi, good evening, Jackie and Tamon. As Columbus police continue their search for the shooter, they say no one was killed and several victims are out of the hospital. Just after 10 Friday night, Columbus, Georgia police responded to a shooting with multiple victims outside of a shell gas station. Police Chief Freddie Blackman says shots were fired after a fight from a nearby party led to the shell. All of the victims are under 18. In the ages of these Nine victims range from five to 17. According to police, the victim's injuries don't appear life-threatening. As of early Saturday afternoon, at least four of the young people were released from the hospital. Our prayers are with all of these young people that are injured and certainly all their families. Many of the circumstances surrounding the shooting remain under investigation. But Blackman says the five-year-old caught in the gunfire was at the gas station with family and not at the initial party. The five-year-old was in the area. Uh, we don't, we do not have any information that the five-year-old was being targeted. As investigators work around the clock, putting the pieces together, Blackman urges parents to talk to their children. To our parents, let's make sure that we know where our children are. Let's make sure we know what our children have in their possession. So at the end of the video there, the police chief says what your kids have in their possession. So is he talking about guns? Because I'm pretty sure the guns that were used at the gas station, uh, they probably weren't legally obtained. But that's just me. I could be wrong. On a personal level, I can't help but wonder, what if... This 35-year-old guy, instead of being black, what if he was white? How much different would the media react? To that end, I'm 95% sure that it would be plastered all over mainstream media, and not just in the second or third tier media. And why? Because the mainstream media, they don't like reporting on gun violence caused by uh, gangbangers because gangbangers tend to be majority races they don't want to talk about and second the 35 year old he's a BIPOC so the reason why it's not plastered all over the mainstream media like uh, Floyd simple it doesn't fit their narrative alright that's it for my little ramble Take care.